Hello and thank you for joining me. I'm Kimberly Davis. Here are your trending headlines for Wednesday, February 28th. Disney's Black Panther is lending a paw to kids in need. The film has earned $700 million globally since its release two weeks ago. Disney says it's donating $1 million of profits to the Boys and Girls Clubs of America. Among the cities that will benefit, Atlanta, Baltimore, New York, and Washington. According to a news release, the funds will go toward the group's STEM programs for science, technology, engineering, and math. On Tuesday, President Trump announced the appointment of the chair for the Historically Black Colleges and Universities Advisory Board. Today I'm honored to announce that Johnny Taylor Jr., well known to a lot of us, great guy, will serve as our new chairman and chairman of the President's Board of Advisors on Historically Black Colleges and Universities. Johnny is the CEO of the Society for Human Resource Management, which serves to connect the students at these institutions with the jobs of tomorrow. He also recently served as president of the Thurgood Marshall College Fund. I know he will advance the cause of HBCUs, a major priority of our administration. Thank you, President Trump and Secretary DeVos. I appreciate the trust you have placed in me to chair the President's Board of Advisors on HBCUs. It has been my life's work to unleash talent in all of its forms from wherever it originates. As CEO of the Society for Human Resource Management, we call it SHRM, I work with employers across the country and indeed across the world no matter their industry, size, or longevity, today's organizations all share the same challenge, closing the skills gap while building diverse, inclusive, engaged workforces. In your health news, more and more people are using e-cigarettes to kick the habit. But a new study shows vaping may not work. Mary Maloney explains in today's Health Minute. For 15 years, e-cigarettes have been billed as a safer alternative to traditional cigarettes. But a study found e-cigs can make it harder to quit smoking. And in most cases, people end up vaping and smoking. The study also found daily e-cig use can double the risk of heart attack. If you are a dual user, that is vaping and smoking cigarettes every day, the combined risk for heart attack goes up five times. E-cigs have lower levels of carcinogens than cigarettes. But Researchers say the electronic versions have other toxins that can have detrimental effects, like increased cardiovascular and lung disease risks. If you are a smoker, here's something you could do right now. Stop. Scientists say stopping smoking immediately drops your risk for heart attack. For today's Health Minute, I'm Mary Maloney. Actress Hattie McDaniel was the first African-American to win an Academy Award. She won the award for Best Supporting Actress for her role of Mamie and Gone with the Wind on this day. In 1940, it was a leap year and the Academy Awards was held on February 29th. You can watch the 90th Academy Awards right here on ABC Columbia. Happy birthday if you're celebrating today. You share the day with actress Ray Dong Chong. She's 57. Actor Frank Boner of WKRP in Cincinnati is 76. And actress Tasha Smith and her twin sister Sidra are 47. Well, that's our time for today. You've been watching What's Trending. Get more headlines on our ABC Columbia mobile app and at abccolumbia.com. I'm Kimberly Davis. Be kind to each other. I hope that you have a wonderful Wednesday and thanks for watching. Thank you.